Hello everybody, in this video I'll be comparing the strength of the gravitational and electric force. First, we need to um, look at the Newton's laws of gravitation, the equation of Newton's laws of gravitation and the equation for Coulomb's law of force. And we need to we need to know the similarities and differences and then from there we will compare the strength of the gravitation and the electric force. Okay, so the Newton's laws of gravitation is the following. Okay. And this equation states that the gravitational force between any two point object is always an attractive force proportional to the mass of each object and proportional to one over r squared where r is their distance is their distance apart okay and force is measured in newtons the constant proportionality g is measured in newtons meter squared over kg squared and the mass is measured in kg and r is measured in meters Okay. So let's have a look at Coulomb's force now. Coulomb's force is the following. Okay. And Coulomb's law states that the electric force between two point charges can either be an attractive or repulsive force proportional to the multiplication of magnitudes of charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. And similarly, if we write down the units for this equation, the force is, new is in newtons again, just like the gravitational force. The charges in coulombs, the permittivity of free space is in this and the distance between them is in meters just like the gravitational force so what is the differences the main big differences between these two equations well the constant of proportionality is different for is different for gravitational force is G and for electric force is 1 over 4 pi times by permittivity of free space. Okay. Um, so let's quickly write that down. And that's the value. And the units is there. And then for electric force, oops, and that is approximately, that's approximately, I think it was. 9 times 10 to the 9, um, what was the units? I think it was, yeah, it was this, it was this. Okay, so that's one big difference. What's the other big differences? Well, remember I said that the gravitational force is only an attractive force. And the electric force is both attractive and repelling. Okay. Attractive and repelling. So what are the other big differences? Oops, let me put the camera up. 
you can see everything. Well, the other big difference is that this for the gravitational force is only between uh, two any two masses, but the electrical force is between any two charges. Okay, don't really have space, but between any two mass. between any two charge okay so that's the all the differences I think there is so what are the similarities well there's one similarity I can find big sim big similarity is the fact that they both obey the inverse square law Okay, so I don't know space. <laughs> Let's put it like that. Put the camera with that. There we go. Both obey one over r squared. Cool. And great, my mum's out garden making noises, slamming the gate and the door. <laughs> okay. So now, so now we know the difference and the similarities between the gravitational force and the electric force, like the equations. Now let's find out the differences in their strength okay suppose we have an electron and a proton P for proton negatively charged positively charged imagine they are one meter away from each other and the mass of both electron and proton is 1 kg. Let's see. I'm trying to make the maths easy here. And let's say the charge of both of them is 1 coulombs. What will be the electric force and the gravitational force between them? What will be the magnitude? Well, let's start with gravitational force. We know gravitational force is equal to the constant pro proportionality times by the two masses divided by r squared. We know r is equal to 1, right? The distance between them is equal to 1. The mass is 1 for both. So we get g. What's the electric force? Electric force. You know the charge is, is 1 coulombs and that the distance between them is 1. So we get 1 divided by 4 pi times by permittivity of 3 space. Okay. And that's, as we know, is equal to 9 times 10 to the 9 and that is equal to 6.7 times 11 minus 11 you can see clearly that the electric force is a lot a lot a lot much 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 bigger than the gravitational force Let's work out how much more is greater. So we need to do the electric force divided by the gravitational force. Let's put that in our calculator now and see how much more the electric force is.
bigger than the gravitational force. Alright, oops. Oopsie daisy. 6.67. This calculator is something wrong with it. Wow. You can see that. Let's just do do to two D one DP. Yeah, let's do it. Wow. You can see that. The electric force is 20 orders bigger than the gravitational force. Like, wow. So that's a, wow. That's a big, big difference. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some ideas um, in the differences and the similarities between the two forces. And, uh, yeah. Gravitational force is basically, its strength is basically nothing compared to electric force. But uh, yeah, see you guys in the upcoming videos.